Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, then my name is Aisha, welcome. So I'm finally back to filming because I took a little break. I went on holiday, it was August. It was so, so hot here in Italy. And I just had to take a little break from YouTube and social media in general. But I'm back more tanned, blonder than ever. And I'm super excited today because I was tagged by the lovely, beautiful Amanda Rose here on YouTube. And she tagged me in the lipstick tag and lipstick is one of my favorite things in the entire world after eyeshadow I would say lipstick definitely comes second I am obsessed I love buying lipsticks I am a hoarder so be warned this tag was actually created by Samantha Izundu I'm going to leave her video down below and I'm also going to leave Amanda's video down below so make sure you go and check those out and we are basically going to be talking all about lipstick I'm going to be showing you some of my favorites and we have a few different categories so I have a lot of lipstick down here and I'm also going to leave all of the questions down below so if you would like to do this yourself then you can and I'm going to stop rambling and we're going to get straight on into the video Question number one is the lipstick with the most unique packaging and I actually went through my lipstick collection and I couldn't find any lipstick packaging that was out of this world, super unique, super different. But the one I did find that was different to the rest, I would say, is this one by Givenchy. The packaging is super sleek. We've got lace running down either side and you've got the Givenchy writing over here. And the reason why this is unique is because it has this little handle thing and to get the lipstick out, you kind of just pull it out like that and you get your lipstick here and I thought that that was pretty cool. So here is the shade. This is actually the Givenchy Rouge Interdit lipstick in number six, Rose Nocturne. Nocturne. I am not good at French so please excuse my pronunciation. It's a super beautiful rosy pink shade and you've also got the Givenchy logo embossed on the actual lipstick and the Givenchy brand name embossed on the plastic packaging so i thought that the packaging was super cute even though it's just black it's a little bit different to all my other lipsticks i'm gonna try and swatch every lipstick i'm so bad at swatching so please excuse this what a disaster my boyfriend actually bought me this lipstick for christmas one year i don't remember when but i have not used it that much as you can see it's got a kind of sheen to it it's not the most opaque i think it would be good for everyday wear because it does just give a kind of like tint to the lips nothing too dramatic it's a very beautiful nude rosy pink shade and that is the Givenchy lipstick most unique packaging and then you just like slip it back in you could hang this on a Christmas tree or something <laughs> like an ornament or hang it on the wall if you want to. Right, number two was one of the most difficult questions to answer because it is the best lipstick formula and I actually could not decide. I'm stuck between two, I think. The first one is the KVD Beauty Vegan... <laughs> The first one is the KVD Vegan Beauty Liquid Lipsticks. I am obsessed with the formula of these. They come in so many colors and I think they are so, so unique in terms of formula. So I actually have three shades. I've only got two here to show you though. I've got Bow and Arrow and I've got Requiem. So Bow and Arrow is an everyday brownie nude shade. I am obsessed. I have used this to death. And then Requiem is a kind of really pale lilac purpley shade great description. The reason why I really love the formula of these is because they are so opaque, you literally need one layer. You don't need to keep topping up throughout the day. They last all day. They are not drying. So they dry down matte, but they do not dry down your lips. They are so, so comfortable to wear. You cannot even tell that you have them on your lips throughout the day. And that is something I look for in a liquid lipstick. I hate it when you get that crusty, dry feeling. And Bow and Arrow is my everyday shade. As I said, I've used it to death. It goes with every single look. It's just a perfect brownie nude and those are my favorite kinds of nudes. So that is the shade there. I love the applicator. You get a, like a very precise doe foot. So it's super easy to apply, just glides onto the lip and then they dry down in a matter of seconds, I would say, and they do not budge throughout the day. The other shade is Requiem and this is a very unique color. I don't use it as often, but it is very beautiful. It's a very cool tone lilac shade, and I think it's actually also good to put on the center of the lips. If you're wearing like a purpley nude, you could put it on the center and it will just like make your lips pop 
and give it an extra something something you know something special i think that that's such a cool cool shade and i'm obsessed with this one too the other one i have is lolita which is one that everyone used to be obsessed with it's like a mauvey pink nude shade i definitely recommend that you check the kvd vegan beauty liquid lipsticks out if you haven't already the second one is also a liquid lipstick formula because i am a liquid lipstick kind of girl i just feel like they are so much easier than bullet lipsticks they last way way longer than bullet lipsticks and you can't feel them as much on the lips if you get the right formula of course so the other formula i chose was the jeffree star liquid lipstick formula i know that he has been in so much drama but i mean his liquid lipsticks are bomb i don't follow him I don't know much about the drama, but I know that he's a very controversial, bleh, contra, controversial person. So that aside, these are amazing, okay? So again, I love these because they are not drying. They are so pigmented. They go on in one swipe. They last all day. They have the best shade range. The packaging is so cute too. And he has so many nudes, like so many diverse, unique nude shades. The two shades I'm gonna show you today are Posh Spice and Celebrity Skin, two new nudes, of course. Posh Spice is really, really cool. I have also used these to death, so they are almost finished, but they do last quite a long time. Like I've had these for over a year. They're probably expired. <laughs> that is Posh Spice there. You can see that it's quite a cool tone brownie nude. So again, I think it's got a quite a unique undertone, something that I haven't found in many other liquid lipstick. And I really, really love this, even for everyday wear. Even though it's cool toned, I think it goes with almost every single look. And my all time favorite, favorite lipstick ever, like ever, <laughs> is the shade Celebrity Skin. What I've actually got on my lips today, I would say it's a mauvey, pinky, rosy kind of nude shade. And it's just a your lips but better kind of color. I don't have lips, okay? So with this, I literally don't even need a lip liner and I can just put this on, blah, blah, blah. And it just enhances my lips so much. The doe foot again is amazing. Because as you can see there, it's kind of curved. So it just like, you no, know, hugs the lips and makes it so easy to apply. But the formula is just bomb, okay? Let's move on. <laughs> Number three is the longest wearing lipstick. So I would say these two, the ones I just talked about for like three hours, are both really really long wearing but a uh, liquid lipstick that I feel lasts all day and does not budge is the MAC what are these called retro matte liquid lip colors I think that these just last so so long we'll try and wash them off with a bit of water no 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 you will need to properly wash them off for them to budge again they have such beautiful shades this is one of my favorites this is the shade Cafe O Chic. And again, it's a brownie nude. It's very similar actually to Posh Spice by Jeffree Star. It's just a bit darker and a bit more brown. These are kind of underrated. I don't hear that many people talking about them, but they have so many shades and they are honestly so long wearing. I really love them. They do dry down matte. And the reason I didn't pick these for the best lipstick formula is because they do feel a little bit more drying on the lips and you can feel them a little bit more than the Jeffree Star and KVD Beauty ones. So they are not as comfortable to wear, but they are definitely long, long wearing. I have a few shades. I have this red one and this kind of deep burgundy shade, which is called High Drama. I'm gonna swatch this one for you. It's actually, got a bit of a purple undertone it's like a berry burgundy kind of color we have that one there i cannot wait for fall because this is gonna be my shade <laughs> i am so excited fall autumn in the uk we say autumn but yeah fall <laughs> i haven't talked much about bullet lipsticks i want to give an honorable mention to the NARS Audacious Lipsticks. I love these as well. They have the coolest packaging because they are magnetic. And for a bullet lipstick, these last so, so long. They are matte. They are so, so creamy. This one is in the shade Anita and it's a kind of peachy, corally nude shade. And this, for a bullet lipstick, lasts so long. But again, liquid lipsticks do last longer than bullet lipsticks, I think, in general. So yeah, I wanted to give that an order 
honorable mention. Number four, most affordable. These are actually quite recent purchases. I mean, I got them a few months ago. One of them I haven't actually opened up, but they are both from Primark. So Primark has loads of different lipstick ranges. They have liquid lipsticks, lip kit, and loads of different types and formulas of bullet lipsticks. So I think the most, most affordable is this one. This is the Primark Luster Lipstick, and this was one euro 50. I actually have not even opened it up because I am a fail, but I love the packaging because you can see the shade of the lipstick from the packaging. And that is another nude shade, another brownie nude. It smells so good, it smells like vanilla that's the shade there i mean for one euro 50 you're not going to be expecting anything amazing but the shade swatch quite nicely it does have a bit of a sheen to it i do prefer more of a matte formula but that looks pretty good for the price anyway it looks like a very good everyday kind of color one that you could just whip on even without a mirror and be good to go ready to go out the door i doubt that that's going to last you all day you're probably going to need to top that up but what can you expect and the other one which i really love and i've used this quite often is the PS Caramel Powder Luxe Lipstick. So these are a bit more expensive. I think they're around three euros, three pounds instead of one pound fifty. The packaging is really, really cool. It's kind of a dupe for the Huda Beauty lipsticks, I think. Where am I gonna, I'm gonna have to swap from this time now. Oh my gosh, this is so difficult. And as the name suggests, it's a caramel nude shade. It is stunning. Look how opaque that is compared to the other one just for like a few pounds more. I think that these are actually like such good quality for the price. This one lasts really well. It's more of a matte formula. This one smells like vanilla too. So yummy. So the Primark lipsticks are definitely my most affordable. If you haven't checked them out yet, you should because as I said, they have so many, so many lipsticks in Primark. Number five is most expensive or luxury lipsticks. So I am a high-end girl. I like collecting high-end makeup. I have a few, but I think that my most luxury, most expensive are the Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. I love these. And then I have a Kevin O'Quan lipstick. And I also have a Tom Ford lipstick, but I don't actually know where that is right now. But I was obsessed with the Tom Ford lipstick formula. So first let's talk about the Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. These are around 25 pounds. So for a lipstick, that's pretty pricey. But just look at this packaging, okay? It's just so luxurious. You get the rose gold metal packaging. And then you've just got a regular twist up bullet lipstick. This one is in the shade Coachella Coral. As the name suggests, it's a coral shade. It's super bright, super opaque, kind of neon almost. I think that the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick formula is actually worth the price. It is also one of my favorite formulas. I've said that probably about every single formula I've talked about today. The packaging, the formula, everything is just feels so luxurious that I, I am okay with spending 25 pounds on a lipstick like this. She has so many nice shades. Most of her shades are pretty wearable because Charlotte Tilbury is quite a wearable brand. But yeah, this is one of the shades I have. And then I also have Pillow Talk, I think it is. I've got a few of the lip liners to go with them as well. And then the Kevin O'Quan. I think this is around 25 to 30 pounds. I wouldn't recommend spending your money on this one because I mean, it's nothing special. The packaging isn't that luxurious. It is quite heavy, but I think I've probably worn this once. <laughs> so I don't know why I spent almost 30 pounds on it. The shade is nice. It does look like more of a matte formula. It was very creamy to apply. It doesn't excite me that much. I don't know why I haven't really used it, but that is the shade there. Nothing special, but very expensive. Anyway, we're going to move on to number six, underrated brand. I did not know what to choose for this because I don't have many lipsticks from underrated brands. I have other products like eyeshadows, foundations, and things like that from underrated brands, but lipsticks, I don't really have many from any underrated brands. One that I love, and I think this is expired because I got it so long ago, but I did check and I, they do still sell it, is the Dose of Colors Liquid Lipsticks. This is disgusting, like it's so dirty, but this is such a good liquid lipstick formula as well. And the reason I love this is because of the shade. This one is called Chocolate Wasted and 
honestly it's a dark chocolate brown and i don't have anything else like this in my collection so so creamy so so pigmented and it's just such a beautiful color this is a must for autumn and winter it's just such a rich kind of shade i am obsessed with this as soon as i got it i was like oh my goodness i've never tried anything like this before and the formula is great it lasts all day it doesn't feel drying on the lips and I think that Dose of Colors is quite a small brand. I think it is quite well known, but it's quite underrated. I think they have a lot of really beautiful products. It's just not that easily available worldwide. And number seven, fave nude. <laughs> How on earth am I supposed to choose a favorite nude? Oh my goodness. Um, I mean, I'd have to say Celebrity Skin by Jeffree Star because this is literally my go-to nude. I wear it every single day almost. It's amazing. Another nude that I rediscovered recently and that I really like is actually MAC Peach Stock because I did a MAC lipstick collection video a few months ago and I tried on all my MAC lipsticks, which I had forgotten about. And I tried this one on and it's so beautiful. This is like quite a pale nude shade. Where are we gonna swatch you? Yeah, it's a very, very pale nude shade, but it's got such a nice peachy undertone. It just like enhances your lip. And the reason I love this one is because if if I'm wearing a nude, like a darker nude, I put this just on the center of the lips and it just makes your lips look so much juicier and you can add it to like any lip color to just enhance it. So I really, really love MAC Peach Stock. This is an old, old OG favorite that I have rediscovered recently during lockdown, you know, going through my makeup stash. So I was happy that I rediscovered that. I'm so cheating in every single category here. I'm showing you like three lipsticks per category. I'm a fail. Okay, number eight is favorite red. I actually held this up earlier. This is one of the MAC Retro Matte Liquid Lipsticks. And this one is in the shade Chateau M. And I love this because this is such a classic red shade not too like bluey blue toned not too like purpley it's just a beautiful true red what a disgusting swatch this one is amazing in the holiday season at christmas time with like a golden smoky eye it's just so beautiful and another one i really love is the sleek matte me liquid lipstick this one is in the shade old hollywood it's like a really beautiful red but this one is more of a dark burgundy red there. <laughs> As you can see, it's more of an autumn appropriate red color. I think the Sleek Matte Me Liquid Lipsticks are super affordable and they have such a good formula as well. I really, really love this shade. But yeah, my go-to, go-to red is this Chateau M by MAC. It is beautiful. I'm not really a red lipstick kind of girl. I just feel like red lips don't suit me as much. I like to stick with my nudes. <laughs> that was my favorite red lip and number nine don't waste your money one is the kevin o'quan lipstick that i showed you before super expensive but just meh not worth it in my opinion and to be honest i can't really think of any other lipsticks that i bought that i have really not liked i don't know which one to tell you not to waste your money on because i like most of the lipsticks i bought it's just the kevin o'quan one it's just so expensive and just wasn't worth the money for me so yeah i'm just gonna leave that they're not add another one to this category the kevin o'quan lipsticks i'm sorry kevin o'quan don't hate me number 10 most daring shade so i picked this one by nyx this is the nyx liquid suede and it is a gray color this is the number zero one and it's literally a gray liquid lipstick so this is pretty daring i don't think i've ever worn this out that's the shade there. I bought it more for Instagram purposes when I'm doing like a creative look. And you can also use these like on the face as face paints or on the eyes if they are eye safe. I'm not sure you have to double check, but it's a pretty daring shade. It is very, very, very gray. So it can make you look dead basically it would maybe be good for halloween or something like that it also makes your teeth look very very yellow i really want to get a black lipstick and kind of like do a look with a black lipstick i think that would be really cool but for now this is like the craziest shade that i own something that is not very wearable and yeah that i never wear basically <laughs> number 11 most worn so again jeffree star celebrity skin basically 
that's it. But another one that like comes as a close second is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in Pure Hollywood. This again is a beautiful, beautiful nude shade. I love the formula of this as well. It's got a more of a moussey formula, I would say. It's very, very pigmented and very comfortable to wear. That's it there. Again, it's very similar to Celebrity Skin, but it's a bit more on the pale pink side. It's a lot lighter than Celebrity Skin. It's a Your Lips But Better color. It's so beautiful. And I have also worn this one to death. The Anastasia Liquid Lipstick in Pure Hollywood is a must-have shade in your collection and I love it. Number 12, most recently purchased and actually I haven't purchased a lipstick in a few months so I think the last ones that I purchased were the Primark ones when I did a whole Primark makeup haul. So I got this Powder Kiss lipstick, I got this one and I also got a liquid lipstick which is this one here and I actually haven't even opened this one up yet either. But yeah, those are my three most recently purchased lipsticks. Number 13, how many do you own? Oh my goodness, I have no idea. One second, I'm gonna go count the ones I have here. I probably have others like laying around my house somewhere because I am unorganized as I've said before. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna count them and then I'll be right back. So actually, I don't think like I have too, too many. I have too many because I'm not a working makeup artist and this is just like for personal use. I have 67 lipsticks here, which I think a lot of people have a lot more than that. But to be honest, I use probably like 2% of these lipsticks, not even like six lipsticks that I wear all the time. And then the rest I probably never wear or have worn once maybe. So it is a bit excessive and I am gonna need to do a declutter, but I do just love collecting lipstick. I've got this whole thing full of lipsticks. I've got more lipsticks here. I don't even know where to put them all. And the last and final question, a lipstick you want to buy. So because of Amanda, I watched her lipstick tag video. And because of her, I really want to try the KKW lipsticks because she was raving about them and she said that they have such a good formula. So I really, really want to try the KKW lipsticks. I've never tried anything from KKW, so that will be something hopefully I can do in the future, hopefully try some of her products. And some other ones I want to try also because of Amanda are the Revlon Sophia Carson, I think it was lipstick. And when she did the Revlon Sophia Carson like lipstick collection unboxing and try on, some of the reds looked so good. Oh my gosh, I really, really want to try some of those Revlon lipsticks. I'm not like big into Revlon. I don't think I even own a Revlon lipstick, but I think I need to try them because they are affordable drugstore and they have some beautiful shades. So yeah, KKW and Revlon, I think are the two kind of lipsticks that I want to purchase in the future. And that is all the questions, guys. I think that I talked for enough time. I talked a lot as always. I'm going to add all the people I want to tag in the description box down below. So make sure you check that out to see if I have tagged you. And I'll also leave all the questions and all of the different lipsticks that I talked about. So you can check those out as well. If you did like the video, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button down below. Also ring the notification bell so you're notified every single time I upload. And also if you want to do this tag and I don't tag you, then feel free to do so. And I'm gonna be so excited to see all of your different picks. And yeah, I think that is all. Thank you so much for watching guys. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye.